So right now I'm in uh, Gurgaon Pacific Square and I'm with the Static team which is Stat India's largest EV charging network and Tino is here, he handles network reliability and Priyanka network expansion. They're going to be telling us something about their new static charging stations. Sure, hi, I am so glad to be here and of course Tino as well. So we have a 60 kilowatt single gun charger which is a DC fast charger and we have a 22 kilowatt AC charger with two guns and two sockets and a 55 inch screen integrated on it and right. we use this screen to sort of get the advertisement revenue okay. all right so these are the new two products would you like to add uh, yeah this is a 60 kilowatt single gun so uh, it's configurable for most of our chargers right and it's a CCS gun so uh, I think almost every charger uh, sorry every car is now coming with CCS and on the highway especially you need to f charge your car faster right. so a 60 kilowatt actually helps a lot uh, to get a single car charged very fast awesome. at a yeah. so in a so shorter span of short span yes. of so Priyanka I can see this one is more like a commercial spaces for malls or could be for offices uh, so tell us something about this uh, charger Sure. Uh, so this is actually a very interesting product, right? Uh, what uh, we, there's a thought process why we sort of came up with this, right? Okay. Uh, we know there is a lot of uh, requirement or uh, EV adoption coming in, but investment of chargers right it's still it's a no-no yes. right so to do that what we said was okay we'll provide these chargers we'll do the investment ourselves okay. but we'll also have a additional source of revenue generation right Probably. that's when the entire integration of screen came screen into play came. all right uh, what we're doing is uh, uh, you know we're placing these chargers across residential complexes right as well as hotels hospitals commercial sites as well right. uh, interestingly uh, uh, you know unlike any other uh, partners we're also doing a combination of fast and uh, slow chargers in one society uh, in residential complexes so we do DC single gun uh, 60 kilowatt single gun and an AC okay. all right we make the investment but what we do is we uh, sort of charge a subscription model all right okay. yeah so where people can subscribe and uh, charge as many times as they can all right which is like a lot more a cheaper and inconvenient uh, option for so you talking about the subscription at the end consumer level absolutely yes right. that's correct okay. and yeah. for that they need to download the app or yeah so the process is going to be the same, same. Uh, but the arrangement what we've done is that so that the users don't have to go through the hassle right so okay. we have done a setup where we give them subscription they can charge as many time as they can they, they the process is again through the app if they want to do through RFID all the options are available okay so the beautiful part about this is uh, this gives you uh, both 3.3 uh, kilowatt AC charging as well as 7.4 and uh, you can charge your two wheelers as well yeah. okay. so the best combination that you would probably want at your society Right. right or somewhere where you are going to spend a lot of time right. which is probably your office right so all both of these places you can uh, charge your uh, two wheelers as well as your uh, four, wheelers. four wheelers and uh, uh, in some cases we have also seen uh, people with GBT uh, uh, guns uh, requirement or uh, three wheelers they are also using our uh, plug sockets it's like a perfect combination and it helps us uh, get revenue from the ads so we can charge less for the consumers to charge their uh, vehicles if we look at apartment society who would like to put the ad wall up so what is their cost factor there uh, absolutely nothing nothing at all. yeah the only thing that they have to do is reach out to us reach out to the business team uh, set the requirement we'll do we'll do have a certain uh, set of criteria on shortlisting the sites right okay. the, the since the advertisement is a major source of the revenue right. to start with so the site selection criteria has to be at point all right we need to have very high visibility of space right we need to have locations where people are coming in passing by and they can look at the ads right yes. so the, when we talk about investment there's nothing we'll do the investment we'll give the charger we'll put the charger everything installation to uh, commissioning to foundation everything will be taken care of by the static team right. uh, the only thing that is required is a parking space where of course people can put the charger and charge the vehicle that's all nothing else so if this is my line and i want to actually get this and monetize through for myself yeah. right so is that is that is there an option like that absolutely there is uh, you know if they want to purchase they can reach out to the team what okay. we can do is there are two ways to go about it yeah. first is they say that okay I want to purchase it I want to run my ads definitely you can you can monetize it what we can do is that if they want the software to run the advertisement we can of course they have to pay uh, sorry pay the subscription for the license fee for the 
platform where, through which the advertisement is uh, to be run okay. the other model is they say that hey i want to monetize but i do not have the capability to do it we have the capability we have a in house media team who sort of brings their revenue right. for us we can run the advertisement for them bring the brands for them to who would be interested in running the advertisement and we can do a revenue spread yeah, sure. as simple as that and yeah. to just add to that yeah. uh, even for societies right uh, they would want to run some of their own content Content. sometimes yeah. for example say they have a diwali celebration and they want to display that that is also something that we actually encourage yes. right so people can come and uh, expect uh, something that they can see on everyday basis uh, which is uh, relevant for them as well uh, apart from just advertisements uh, because uh, i mean someone from the rwa will have to uh, send out all the announcements and all that uh, so you can always that look at uh, check the out from yeah, the side wall as well so personalized personalized content can also go across uh, for the space where that Correct. is looking yeah. priyanka and uh, tino like who do you think would be more interested in advertising on these ad walls uh, well uh, we've been reaching out to brands actively uh, be it uh, retail brands be it hotels cafeterias i think we are getting very good responses uh, but as a strategy what we did was that we initially started reaching out to oems right uh, who are actually very relevant and they want to use this kind of platform right uh, while we were doing that we started parallelly reaching out to other uh, you know set of uh, uh, you know businesses as well sure. and they have showed interest because ultimately you have to understand since we are doing this in residencies right people are going back home and they are seeing this so the audience for whatever kind of product it is always going to be relevant right, right? be it retail be it food be it anything right. so i feel uh, uh, you know uh, any kind of industries or any kind of brands would be interested for b2c market for, B2C market for sure for the b2c market. yeah for b2c market for sure uh, so uh, yeah the segmentation per se that we will only focus on this is not there we are open to all whosoever are interested uh, we're doing okay. with them and how many of these ad walls are already out there sure so 70 ad walls are already there uh, in ncr uh, this month we are targeting to do about 25 to 30 more okay. so we'll hit uh, 100 ad walls okay. in ncr oh, yeah nice yeah like the focus said, area for yeah. now is uh, delhi ncr uh, to so that we can make some density out of the ad walls right. and that actually and gives encouragement for the media businesses uh, and uh, different companies also to start uh, utilizing the source of uh, advertisement yeah. okay so as you said 70 static ad walls uh, and it looks stunning it looks beautiful i mean it its visibility is very good i think i when i was standing far also I, my eyes were on it so i'm sure it has had some impact in the market so any stories you would like to share with us yes we actually have and it's like a very recent one <laughs> as well right um, uh, just yesterday we were at the expo Uh, auto expo that's going on right uh, and uh, uh, a person came to us and he was like ki there's a ad wall uh, 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 installed in our society and uh, uh, it was so beautiful and that entire setup the infrastructure was so beautiful and encouraging uh, that uh, he has already uh, uh, booked a byd auto and uh, he was like ki i'll be coming to you in uh, 10 20 days uh, you have to teach me how to use the entire uh, charger and all that so uh, we actually were very happy for that uh, not because someone uh, new customer is coming but because uh, someone is getting into the ev industry right right they are in our community now and uh, they are doing good for uh, we actually have a positive impact on uh, not just our <laughs> revenue but actually uh, on the society on the environment so that actually made us made our day it actually made our day too and uh, if you have an uh, if you are an ev manufacturer <laughs> please you can advertise on the static <laughs> yeah absolutely absolutely and so, i think yeah. uh, you would have uh, uh, your majority of uh, see, since, since since i attra- i mean it's attractive right a right. uh, lot of people in your society in the society also would uh, stand in front of it look at it what is it and all that they'll start talking about it uh, right so that gives encouragement for people to start buying uh, vehicles they get that confidence that yes we have a source of charging for sure and they uh once the start the talk start right uh, uh you find out what is the advantage of ev as well it's not just that it's safe for environment it's also safe for your pocket <laughs> right so uh, that discussion does not happen because no one is talking about it 
right this is the best way to actually start that conversation and one or the other uh, member is there for sure in almost every society where you uh, who owns a ev car right He's an EV and advocate. exactly <laughs> all the advocates are only buying in the initial stages right yes. and they are very vocal about it because it has actually helped them yes. in one way or the other right so uh, yeah, it's a great yeah. thing just wanted to add one more point right apart from of course when when that person came we felt like okay we are doing the right thing 100% but just also uh, you know adding to a, a business model that we have uh, it's a investment business model that we do right in fact that person was so intrigued that he was open to make an investment on the charges right, right. so uh, that's that's also i think a lot of individual inf- investors or you know inst- institutional investors who want to sort of explore that market then we are open to that as well so i just wanted to put it out there so we see that the static uh, adwall is making an impact and uh, if somebody is interested and wants to get in touch and get this at their uh, premises yeah. how do they go about it well you can reach out to our website which is www.static.in then you can reach out to our social media handle our instagram handle is static india and we are also very much active on linkedin so you can easily reach out to us uh, what you can also do is that we can give you or that i think you will go for that. so there will be a link in the description below which you can click and send them an inquiry if you're interested in the static ad world so thank you so much priyanka and tino uh, for sharing uh, such beautiful information about the static ad world to us and and if you have any questions uh, to be asked to the static adwall team here uh, please put in in the comments below